did you get that crazy scar on your hand? I get that a lot. And sometimes I am almost tempted to tell the truth. But it is so much more fun to say, I got this scar in a crazy pole dancing accident. <laughs> I know you can't shake that visual now, can you? <laughs> we all have scars we try to hide. We're ashamed of our imperfections, and yet we are all broken somehow. Someone over here is grieving for a loved one. Someone over here is reeling from a divorce, and somebody here is stumbling in a failed career. So how are you broken? Me? I wear my scars on my hand. And if you look close enough, you will get a glimpse of gold. Hands. Strangely, that's been my nickname since I was this tall. I was always creating something, and so my father told me that I had magic in my hands. I started playing piano at three, and all grown up, I played piano and harp professionally. I was a tiny artist, and all grown up, I had an art degree, and I loved to teach. My hands were never still. I spoke to the world with my hands. By 2009, these hands held a tiny baby, my youngest child, and my life was a portrait of abundance. My cup, if you will, runneth over. How it shined, and in a heartbeat, how it shattered. Christmas 2009, and a distracted driver took his eyes off the road. He crossed the center line, and he smashed head on into my car. And in a heartbeat, I went from being whole to being broken. This was my life. It took four years, five surgeons, and six operations to put Humpty Dumpty together again. But still, they said, you will never make art again. You'll never make music again, because your hand will never really work right again. And my magic was gone. I couldn't even pick up my baby. For months, I changed diapers using one hand and my teeth. My teeth. And you think diapers just smell bad? <laughs> What's the first question somebody asks you after, what's your name? It's, what do you do? And suddenly, I had no valid answers to what do you do. I could tell you what I did, but everything I had ever said to define myself had suddenly moved from present tense to past tense. When I lost my creative outlets, I completely lost myself. Nobody who works in the arts does it for the money. We do it because if we don't do it, we die inside. So what options do we have for a shattered life? Do we grieve? Because clearly this will never be what it was. Do we hide it away and hope that no one notices the damage? Or, and this is society's favorite route, it's broken. It's useless. Throw it out. And that is exactly how I felt about my life. But imagine taking those pieces, putting them back together like a jigsaw puzzle. 
Yes, those ugly fracture lines will still be there. But instead of trying to hide them, imagine taking a paintbrush and tracing each one of them in pure and shining gold. There was nothing remarkable about this bowl before it broke. But now, with these scars of gold, it shines. It tells a story not just of having been broken, not just of having been mended, but of actually transcending what it was before. Its beauty is not despite breaking. Its beauty is because it was broken. For 500 years, the Japanese have made this an art form called kintsugi, mended with gold. These pieces wind up in museums and in galleries. Their breaking was not their ending, it was their beginning. And the ones that are most broken, with the most scars of gold, that are the most valuable of them all. Why don't we see people like this? I made the choice to turn myself into the kintsugi. I found a surgeon, a brilliant and dedicated man who refused to give up on me like the others had. Patiently, he pieced my pieces together, patiently, patiently. And one piece at a time, I became whole again. One piece at a time, I learned to reinvent myself. One piece at a time, hope was painting my scars with gold. I stopped grieving, and I started speaking with audiences. I stopped weeping, and I started writing a book. I started to shine again. There was nothing that could not be mended. Yes, I was injured. And when I got stronger, I went after the two pieces that they told me I couldn't have back, my art and my music. Yes, I make art differently than I did before, but you can see it shine. Yes, I make music differently than I did before, but you can hear it shine brighter than ever. A community, just like a person, can be shattered by loss. As jobs move away, as people move away, it is easy to dwell on what we did instead of what we do. What we were instead of what we are. What we are are pieces of something that's been broken. Imagine what we can do together if we embrace the lessons of Kensugi where we come together with our time and our talents, there will be gold. And this community, just like the mended people in it, will shine brighter than ever before. We all have scars. And you can keep trying to hide them, or you can choose to paint each one in shining gold. Every scar is a golden opportunity to shine again. Over time, gold increases in value, and by default, so will you. Investing in gold. Your gold. Our gold is the best investment you will ever make. So roll up your sleeves. Wear your scars with pride. 
and show the world how you shine.